Hello everyone, I'm Best Bean Gaming, and welcome to 5 Interesting Zelda Wii U Rumors. Today we are going to take a look at 5 rumors surrounding Nintendo's upcoming open world Legend of Zelda video game set to release in 2015 that have really gotten fans talking. Now I wasn't sure whether I wanted this to be a countdown or not, so I'm going to take the easy way out and ask you all to tell me in the comment section what order you think these rumors should be put in from least to most interesting. So how about we get this started. Our first rumor stems from a comment made on the E3 reveal trailer of the game as soon as Link, or we would like to think that this is Link, removed their cloak. Could the new hero of this iteration of the game be female? Why would Nintendo, who have made it apparent with their games like Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros, that they don't like to alter their path much when it comes to the classics? They keep things true to the original. So why would Nintendo's loyal fans assume that Link could be female when the protagonist of the series has always been male? Our second rumor is, or perhaps I would like to say was, that the E3 reveal trailer of The Legend of Zelda Wii U was actual gameplay from the Wii U. If that were true, that would mean that the Wii U was capable of producing some pretty amazing graphics. Now I said was instead of is earlier because Mr. Onima, director of the Legend of Zelda series, has confirmed in a post on the Miiverse that this was in fact actual gameplay from the game, not just promotional CGI. Of course, the camera angle was purely cinematic, but that was indeed gameplay. Isn't that some food for thought? For those of you who have yet to purchase a Wii U, these graphics are beautiful. Before I open your mind to this next rumor, take a second to think about the size of the map for Ocarina of Time. This being one of my favorite Zelda titles, I can visualize the map pretty well. Do you guys remember the tech demo for The Legend of Zelda Wii U from E3 2012? Yes, I'm fully aware that this wasn't actual footage. The demo took place in a forest temple. According to a comment made about this footage, the forest temple could be the same size of, or bigger than, the entire map of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Mind blown. In an interview with Game Informer, Mr. Onima introduced that along with the huge open world being designed for the new Zelda, multiplayer could be something to look forward to. Being a long time fan of Zelda myself, multiplayer isn't something I think I want to see in the main Zelda series. I feel like it would take away from the game. Sure this was a fun thing in The Legend of Zelda Four Swords, but I doubt it would work as well in the games we consider the main games in the series. The Wind Waker HD, a remake of the GameCube Legend of Zelda video game, included the ability to leave bottled messages around the world. This online feature made me feel connected to other players playing the game without taking away from my single player experience. I feel like something similar should be added in the next Legend of Zelda video game instead of multiplayer. Who cares about my opinion? On to the next and final rumor. This last rumor stems from research I've done on the game and the hopes that this will be included in the game. Supposedly, all characters in the upcoming Legend of Zelda video game will be voiced. Although they will be voiced in the fictional Hylian language, and we won't be able to understand them, and we will ultimately be forced to read text boxes, just like every other Zelda game, this rumor would not be as satisfying to me if it were true. 